In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can access and use OpenAI's latest AI generator, Dolly 3, for completely free. Dolly 3 is OpenAI's latest update to their Dolly image generation tool, and it's leaps and bounds better than the release of version two. And in the past, the only way to access Dolly was through the OpenAI labs. But now, there's actually two ways to create images using Dolly 3. One way is through the paid ChatGPT Plus subscription, and it gives you access to a few more options like aspect ratio and advanced prompting. But you can also use Microsoft Bing to access Dolly 3 for free. And that's what we're gonna look at in this video. We'll start at the beginning so you can see a helpful use case on how you can use this. Start by heading to bing.com. Make sure you have a free Microsoft account and that you're signed in. Tap your profile icon here and then log in with your account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can go ahead and sign up for a free one now. Once you logged in and you're here on the Bing homepage, choose chat here on the top menu. Let's start by brainstorming some ideas first. Let's assume we're creating a presentation on animals that live in the desert. We'll ask chat here, without actually generating any images, Give me a list of five animals that live in the desert and a prompt of each animal doing something in its element. We can then take a look at the list that it generates for us and let's say it's perfect for what we need. If it's not, you can go back and forth with chat to get what works for you. But since we like this list, let's go ahead and tell it to start generating images. Tell chat now, create images based on the first option. Bing chat will then think, and then here you'll see it start generating images based on your input. When it returns the images, you'll get four options to choose from, and down here at the bottom, you'll see image creator from designer powered by Dolly 3. Let's say we like this first one here. Choose it, and you'll then be taken into Microsoft Image Creator. This is the actual tool that's creating your images using Dolly 3. In the future, you can actually start your prompts inside of here, and I'll show you how to do that at the end but I like to show starting inside of Bing Chat so that you can use it also as a brainstorming tool. Now that we're inside of Image Creator, we have a few options. Using the arrows here, you can swipe through the different images that were just generated. You also have the prompt that was used to generate the image. You can use this to make changes and generate new images inside of Creator if you wanted to. You can then save or download the image if you're happy with the results and it's good to go. You can also choose Customize here to do some more editing. When you choose Customize, it'll then open the image inside of Microsoft Designer. We're not gonna get into this tool here in this video as it's its own entire platform, but you can use this to edit the image if you want to. You can use the generative AI tools, add text, change the layouts, and a ton more. Heading back to Image Creator though, let's look at the last way to generate images with Dolly 3. Once you're back here, Choose Image Creator on the top menu. It'll then open Image Creator up in a new tab. Image Creator is pretty simple in its layout. At the top here, you have your prompt bar where you can enter what images you want to generate. Under that, you have the Explore tab where you can see what others have created, and then you have your creations that you've created in the past. On the right here, you have the Create button for after you enter your image prompt, and then Surprise Me, which will generate some random images. So let's go ahead and create a new image. Thinking back to the animal list that we created inside of Bing Chat, we can choose one of those that were listed or we can come up with our own. Let's say a camel in a hot dry desert, sun in the sky, sand dunes in the background. Enter that and then hit create. Image Creator will then generate four new images based off of your prompt. And again, just like before, you can choose between them, save or download or edit the image further. And if you're good with this image, you can then continue and create more if you need to. When you're done, you can then use all of the images that you create inside of the original presentation that we were working on. So that was an overview on how to create images for free with Dolly 3. If you're interested in image generation tools like this, I'm working on a complete Dolly 3 course right now, and we have a bunch more over on our platform, skillleap.ai. There we have full courses on Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, Runway, ChatGPT, and a ton more. We're constantly adding to it as new tools come out, and it's the way to stay up to date on all the platforms being released. We also have a ton of free resources that we release every week. So if that's something that interests you, check out skillleap.ai. And that's how you create images for free using Dolly 3 and Microsoft Image Creator.